after it a little bit. The, the topic this morning, um, if you're looking at the notes, speed of play. And, and really, as your athletes get older, the game gets faster. And I know we talked yesterday about how you slow the game down to an extent. And athletes that have weapons, that have routines, right, that understand that they can control their mindset and their emotions, the game gets a little bit slower. Right, we know that. And um, this morning, I, I want to share some mostly defensive cookies. I always call them cookies. I'm not a big drill guy, right? But uh, And I'm just going to share with you some of the teaching cues and some of the language that I use um, with high school and even college softball programs, just so that how they practice and the speed of the practice replicates the game itself. You hear that all the time. I know most of you can go into clinics for as long as I have. You gotta practice, you know, practice how you play, practice how you play, and kind of get that. Um, but how do you do that on an everyday basis is really what it comes down to. So um, I've got, there's no way in 45 minutes I can uh, put my uh, 72 things that annoy me about the, the practice times, but I'm gonna give you the ones that I think are pretty good um, that you can use. And um, like anything else that we mentioned yesterday, um, when you come to clinics like this, and this was always, you know, when I was a high school coach, I felt sorry for my kids the next Monday or Tuesday when I came back to them. And I, I'd walk into the gym and like, man, we got all this new stuff, right? And, and it was funny, the, uh, it was baseball at the time. Oh, coach must have bought a new DVD or went to a new coaching clinic. So here we go with a whole new program and all this new stuff like that. Um, be, be better than I was when, when I was a high school coach. Pick and choose, right? Um, there's no one drill for every player, right? You, you build a championship team really one player at a time and it typically starts with you. Uh, but there, there'll be some things that are universal. Don't be afraid to change if it pertains to everyone, right? You'll hear coaches even last night, yeah, this stuff is really good, but you know, how do I go back to my team or my program and tell them that we're changing? That's called being intelligent. That's called knowledge is power and then getting better at it. So whether it's me or anybody else that you heard, um, you got to on the ride home or, or even tonight, w what are some of the things that you're going to immediately plug in and what are the things that are you going to wait for? And then identify 